I'm Dr. B and welcome back to another sidewalk stand. Our frying egg on the sidewalk expedition was, you know, fairly captivating, so we thought we'd try and cook an egg on the metal car hoods. Not directly on the hood, because do not try this at home. You will ruin the finish of your paint. So we're going to put down some protective aluminum foil. I'm joined by my friend Luke, who will be assisting. As you can see, we have two cars as a bit of a control. This one, silver. This one, a darker color, black. So we'll see if they're at slightly different temperatures. I've got my surface temperature infrared thermometer, so we'll just see where we're at for a starting reference. It's not quite the high yet today. It's only about 86. But I've got 53 degrees Celsius on mine. And Luke, your darker car is coming in at 60.4 degrees. That is a 7 degrees Celsius difference. That is fairly substantial. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some aluminum foil to make kind of a cup or bowl. Now it is also metal, so it should conduct the heat fairly well evenly through the surface of the hood and also through the aluminum foil. My assistant is wrapping it now. And then I've got some eggs that have been outside, so they warm up a bit. Give us a bit of a head start. They're not refrigerator temperature. We get some good contact. So the less air between the foil and the hood, the better. Air will act as an insulating barrier. I'm making a bit of a little reflective top to mine. Just enough to hold the egg in there. I'm gonna grab an egg. And we shall see. Press that as flat as I can. Get good contact with the hot metal. And now we wait. All right, so we're going to do a temperature check. They've been on here for just a couple of minutes. We'll get surface temperature again. And the surface of my metal is surprisingly cold. Only about 18. So it's going to take a while to warm up in the sun. We'll check out how loose is going. So the car is still 65, aluminum foil only 4.7, so quite cool. All right, so like any good science experiment, we've got some different approaches. So Luke has tried a second approach here where he's created a ring of foil just to hold the egg in place, and then the egg is on some plastic wrap to put it in direct contact with the metal of the car. All right, welcome back. It's been several, several minutes without any progress on the egg cooking, but definitely with some egg leakage on the hood. So we are gonna call this one unsuccessful as far as trying to cook an egg, but interesting science. So as you might have realized, the foil did not heat up much at all. So it's surprisingly cool because despite that it's metal, it's very reflective. So it's able to take the rays of the sun and then bounce them and scatter them right off without sort of absorbing much of that sunlight's energy. Which is the same principle why when you put those reflectors into the windshield of your car or the windows of your car, it bounces the light right off and then keeps the inside of your car drastically cooler than if you didn't have that where the sunlight could come in, absorb, and start to heat up the interior. So thank you for joining us for Sidewalk STEM. It looks like my assistant Luke and I will not be enjoying any delicious scrambled eggs solar powered, but we've learned something. All right, I'll see you next time.